We are just two months out from the total solar eclipse coming through the heartland. After this one, the United States will not see another eclipse until 2045. Since that's quite a long wait, some people are making plans to capture this eclipse on camera so they can keep the memory until the next one. Nikki Clark has more. Getting a perfect shot is not easy. You need the right equipment, a good understanding of that equipment, and a good location to view totality. If you are planning on taking pictures of the eclipse, even with your phone, I spoke with some experts who shared some things to know before April 8th. I spent six months planning the 2017 eclipse. I've spent seven years for this one. Martin Allen Wilcox is a professional photographer from Arkansas. He took this picture of the 2017 total solar eclipse in the Grand Tetons. I spent about two minutes just looking at it. Uh, and I spent about two minutes photographing it. And I'll sit there as the moon covers the sun and go click, 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 click. And then as it leaves, I'll go click, 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 click. And hopefully I get something. First alert, Chief Meteorologist Grant Dade sat down with me to talk about his experience shooting that same eclipse. It's, it's pretty spectacular. He's talking about this picture he took where he captured the diamond ring. And I will tell you, it's luck. There's, there are a lot of photographers out there that are a lot better than I am. Uh, I found it very hard to find a picture this good. That's why I chopped it up to luck. Plus, I was doing a live broadcast while I took the photo. Here's how he says he did it. A Sony mirrorless camera with a 400 millimeter lens, no filter, and his f-stop set at 5.6. But his biggest advice, use a remote shutter. Because if you line it up and take a picture and press the button on the camera, your camera is vibrating very slightly and you're going to have a blurry image. And for the April 8th eclipse? You're using the same stuff. Same stuff. Is there anything you're planning to do differently? No. I mean, it worked once. <laughs> Why change it? I'm, I'm, I'm more excited this time because I know what, I, what I'm trying to capture with five different cameras, and I can't wait to see the results. Even the professionals will tell you this. The cameras will never capture what you can physically witness with the naked eye. For the casual observer, just take a picture of totality with your cell phone. You're going to, after the eclipse, have plenty of professional photos of what the sun looked like. Margaret Hill is a professor of physics at SEMO and president of the SEMO Astronomical Association, and she agrees. You don't want to be fumbling with a camera through the whole thing. You want to be able to actually look up and take part in that most amazing phenomenon. Since you'll have plenty of professional photos to remember the occasion, she says focus on fully experiencing the eclipse with the people around you. And what are your people around you doing? I mean, there's some hoots and hollers and oohs and ahs, and those are the things that you'll remember. But with more than four minutes of totality, the professionals are still planning to take some of that time to try to get the perfect shot. Do I think I'll get lucky again? No. That was a... I happened to snap the image at the exact right time. And I doubt I'll be able to do it twice in a row, but I'm going to try. You know, we're going to have one in 2045, and I don't know if I'm going to make it till then. So this might be my last one. Nikki Clark, Heartland News.